I don't have any of those fancy graphics. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's deal with the uh, just the uh, condominium sale statistics and the single family sale statistics chart. And you have all you have in your packet all my numbers, so I won't have to go into them individually. And I've just sort of wrapped it all up here, so let's move on to the next. As we stick on there for a bit, I'll tell you. Driven by the federal tax credit and record low interest rates, 2010 thus far has proved to be a year full of superlatives in our sample seacoast towns for both single family sales as well as for condominium sales. It seems to be proved positive that despite the best of times or the worst of times, buyers still find the seacoast of New Hampshire an attractive place to purchase. On the single family side, we still experience record inventory all referred to on the national level, uh, and that record goes back to 2007 since we started keeping records. March, uh, if you look on there, March proved to be the harbinger of things to come. Did you correct that? You did. Good. You had a mistake early on. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> March proved to be a harbinger of things to come. In spite of some rugged February weather that we all remember, buyers closed on 41 units, an eye popping 78 improvement over the previous March and the best performance in four years. Condo closings more than double from the previous month. We were building to the perfect storm of June when sales are traditionally strong anyway, but coupled with low interest rates, attractive inventory availability, the incentive of a tax credit and good weather to shop, sales figures skyrocketed. And then came the loud resounding post-federal tax credit under agreement deadline of June 30th in July, sales plummeted 40%, dropping behind 2009 levels. To be sure, and to be fair, July is usually one of the slower months anyway. But still, the uh, locally, the big guys were out there buying million-dollar homes like they hadn't since June 2008. And the year's biggest sale uh, on Ocean Boulevard uh, occurred, on the seacoast, occurred on Ocean Boulevard, and that was to the tune of $3 million. That stands as the record for the year. Um, all of which brings us to August, which no one has kept these in a lot of shape, bring these numbers out now. So, here in August, buyers seem to collectively realize that while the tax credit was gone, voila, mortgage interest rates were really at an incredibly record low level. So the buyers came back in droves. In fact, it was the best August since at least 2007 for single family sales which also jumped 39% from July, and that's an improvement of 29% from last August. It was also the best August for condominium sales since August of 2007. That's an 89% improvement from July's numbers. Uh, Mid-higher end units had a very strong month. They're best since July of 2007. And so, uh, because President Joanna is one of the most positive people that I know, We'll wrap this up with some of the major superlatives thus far in 2010. <laughs> there we are. In June, the best monthly residential sales total since June 2007. Best August for $700,000 to $1 million sales category since 2007. Best August total since 2007. Single family souls in July, the most $1 million plus sales since June 2008. In condominiums in June, the best condo sales since 2000, August 2007. In August, condo sales doubling from the previous August. Uh, and we had in August higher end condo units in the 300 to 600,000 range having their best monthly total since July of 2007. And finally, the best August for condo total sales since August of 2007. So there you have it. So to my fellow realtors in the room, happy selling and let's make a great fall. Thank you.